Israel has just hosted trilateral meetings with Russian and U.S. national security advisors for the first time in history to discuss how to counter threats from Iran. Joining us now to discuss Israel's growing international political status along with current politics in Israel is Naftali Bensiwan, a journalist and member of the Likud party. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Good evening. All right. So what exactly was discussed in this meeting? We know that the focus was Iran, uh, but how important was Israel's involvement? Well, uh, we must admit this is not only the first time, but it's a very historical summit right. to discuss the situation in the Middle East and maybe all over the world. And we are talking about uh, three superpowers, United States, Russia and Israel. And Superpower is a, a big word for Israel. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I can, well, we must admit, in the last uh, uh, 10 years, we, can see, we see Netanyahu as a top leader in the world, and, uh, and everyone lo look at Israel as a superpower. So, inevitable, uh, they came here, and they want to talk about the situation in the Middle East and in Iran the nuclear threat, the political uh, process here in the Middle East, and uh, of course to hear from Prime Minister Netanyahu his uh, analyze about the situation. So it's not only a great honor, it's a great recognition of, this, of the political status, well, international yeah. arena of Israel. That's, that's for sure, and I mean, I think it is fair to say that the advancement that we've seen in Israeli security measures just as a whole are something else that the rest of the world is looking towards when it comes to combating terror like this. But I would like to speak a little bit more about the, the state of internal politics that we're seeing right now, because obviously things have been a bit crazy. That's a nice uh, word yeah. for what's going on. Um, you know, there have been rumors that Netanyahu is considering canceling the upcoming elections in September. Is that going to happen? Why would he want to do that? Well, uh, let's first talk about the psychology of the politics of Israel. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that Prime Minister Netanyahu would prefer uh, to meet uh, top leaders in the world and, of course, uh, to deal with the situation, the international situation of Israel uh, among uh, Russia and the United States and other countries. But uh, the political reality in Israel is really uh, dirty and uh, and we you, you must deal with it and uh, we are talking about a situation that we are in a very great position uh, among uh, different countries in the world but uh, as a political party the Likud party with 35 seats Prime Minister Netanyahu cannot form a government cannot govern and, and, and he thought that maybe a, a new election will solve the situation, but the result is that we are spending only money, three billion shekels, and the results will be almost the same. Okay, well, let's talk about that a little bit, because, I mean, what is the alternative? Obviously, there have been reports about a merger between Blue and White and Likud. Both parties have denied these reports, but is there something... Boiling? Uh, it should be a unity government between Likud and Blue and White. Mm -hmm. This is my, my private opinion. Okay. And I, I, I think I heard many Israelis who think the same. Should be a unity government. And I think. But then how would it function, right? Because uh, Blue and White right now are we're having kind of rotating leadership with Gantz and yeah. Lapid. And would Netanyahu be part of this? Because Lapid clearly doesn't want that to be the case. I, I will never accept that a, a party will uh, uh, say who is acceptable and who is not. Mm -hmm. We, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, he's the leader of the Likud party, he's the prime minister, and it's not the role of Blue and White to decide that uh, uh, we have a condition. We will go inside to a unity government, but without Netanyahu. So uh, we can uh, say the same about Blue and White without Lapid, without Yalon, without Ashkenazi or Gantz, and we will choose. This is not a, a political culture. Uh, this is not the way to, to, well, to solve a problem. So what and is the I, answer? I, right? I, do believe, I do believe that a rotation is a nice possibility between Blue and White, but with Netanyahu within. 
The question also is, though, whether or not Netanyahu would be able to handle that himself, if he would be willing to be in a, a rotating, rotating position. You know, we haven't actually discussed that side of it, but uh, we are running low All on right. time, unfortunately. So thank you so much uh, for joining don't, us. Don't worry. Uh, we will have more opportunities because there is no dull moment yeah. here in the Israeli politics. Yeah, there is a lot more to be discussed <laughs> on this topic. All right. Thank you for coming thank in. Thank you.